Uh, I am Sabas Mavromatidis. I am a PhD student uh, at the University of Cyprus and I work on the funerary sculpture uh, of the Lusignan era, uh, that is uh, from uh, uh, 13th to 15th century. Uh, I, what I am doing is to uh, look at uh, what we can see represented in the tombstones, in the Cypriot incised uh, slabs. Uh, for example, the inscriptions, uh, the human representation, uh, the, uh, 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 the clothes, uh, the dress that these uh, dead were wearing. Uh, and uh, to look into uh, issues uh, as, for example, uh, the identity, social identity or uh, uh, um, religious identity and uh, memory matters, mnemonic techniques uh, or maybe uh, how they were, uh, how these people, the artisans, uh, during the, the medieval era, uh, were constructed, uh, these domestones. How did you integrate uh, this project, Graph East? Well, uh, I sent an email to the uh, pri primary investigator, uh, Estelle in Grand Varen. Uh, that, is, that was uh, the first time I met her, uh, virtually. And uh, then uh, we exchanged some emails. She proposed me uh, that uh, to uh, participate in the program. So here I am. You're Greek. Yes. Uh, how do you see this uh, first area of uh, studying? How, how do you see this area, uh, uh, Cyprus? How do you see it for the, uh, the studying? It's an amazing uh, area for uh, studying it, for uh, researching, uh, because uh, we have a multicultural environment, uh, many uh, ethnic groups, uh, religious uh, groups, uh, to uh, take part and to, uh, to be uh, in the same place uh, during the uh, medieval era. Uh, it's uh, very particular, uh, even uh, in the uh, Eastern Mediterranean region area, uh, because uh, here we have uh, many more uh, ethnic groups than any other uh, place, uh, as far as I know, uh, in uh, the old area, uh, especially after uh, the 13th century. So it's uh, very interesting. Okay, can you um, tell us? Uh more, as you said now, um, about the context in the Middle Age of uh, the Cypriot. I mean, uh, what was the mind, you know, because you, you learn uh, yes. about the death. So, so what, how do you think, how was the mind of the people, what, what, what they were <laughs> expecting about? I know it's difficult. <laughs> yes, it's difficult. No yeah. one knows. Uh, we are trying to investigate it, uh, to uh, know uh, better uh, and uh, uh, how did these people lived uh, the, all these years uh, uh, in the past? Uh, if we take a look uh, into uh, the uh, sources, the literature sources, and uh, uh, we combine them with uh, the material here, uh, we can uh, have some, some uh, results, some extraordinary, extraordinary uh, results uh, for uh, the people of this era. Because as I said you, uh, there were Franks, Greeks, uh, Melkites, Syrians, uh, Maronites uh, uh, and other uh, ethnic and uh, confessional groups. Uh, we see uh, a daily... Um, um, a combination, uh, or better, an, uh, an interchange uh, between all these people into this society, this mixed society. Uh, for example, here in Limassol Castle we have uh, tombstones uh, from uh, uh, Franks, Syrians and Greeks who participate in a, a unique funerary custom, that is the Frankish funerary custom. Uh, they participate uh, in a single uh, cultural phenomenon. Uh, this is very interesting uh, because we can see uh, in the inscriptions uh, the old friends, the Latin and the Greek language. Uh, and uh, we are trying, what we are, uh, what we are doing is 
try to understand uh, the way of thinking of these people, how do they think, uh, how do they act, why do they act in this way, why uh, the Greeks uh, decided to uh, be a part of uh, a Frankish, a Latin funerary custom. It's amazing. Um, uh, it's a very complex society uh, the, during the Lusinian era, uh, the Cypriot society. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, the funerary art of the island make, uh, uh, give us many answers about how these people uh, lived and uh, were thinking. When you are on an island, you have no way to do differently. You must live together, you know. Yes, uh, we, uh, an, uh, we expect from an island to be more uh, close, uh, to have a more close society, more conservative society. Uh, we can say that uh, in many ways uh, it is a conservative society, okay, but uh, we see uh, also an openness uh, to the outside world, to the uh, surrounding regions of the island. Uh, because uh, we have uh, connections through trade or diplomatical uh, connections uh, with the other world, the Islamic, the Byzantine or the uh, Western uh, world. And also we have uh, in uh, different periods uh, during the Lusignan era uh, the Italians or uh, French merchants uh, to take part in the whole uh, region. Uh, in the island, in different cities of the uh, island. Uh, so uh, it's a combination of uh, conservatism and openness to the uh, outside world. Uh, it's an amazing uh, uh, example, uh, Cyprus. The, the contemporary idea of, idea of Europe, isn't it a, a picture in the middle edge of this Europe, of people coming from different places and making a living together. We could say something like that, yes. Uh, because uh, we have uh, Frankies, Italians, uh, Catalans, uh, Greeks, uh, but uh, the Frankies who are coming from the syria palestine coast uh, after uh, the fall of uh, Jerusalem and uh, 100 years uh, after that we have the fall of Acre, uh, and many more uh, indigenous Frankish population are coming here. Uh, so we could say that this is a mixed uh, society which um, is incorporating more and more uh, people who are coming from, uh, the, uh, from the abroad. Uh, and uh, they are trying to uh, uh, have a life here. Uh, to, const to create their lives here in uh, this mixed society. Uh, we have also, uh, after uh, 1350, uh, uh, the kings of Cyprus uh, who uh, are calling uh, the Westerners to come here in Cyprus to take uh, uh, part in their, uh, in their expeditions, uh, the new crusades. Uh, and uh, they stay here, many of them, these people stay here. So, uh, yes, we could say that uh, this is a, a little bit, uh, a little Europe here. <laughs> what are the main difficulties that you, you what, uh, for you to organize this uh, mission to, in Cyprus? What are the difficulties? Mm. Uh, well, the island is uh, divided, as you know, uh, after uh, 1974 and uh, the difficulties are more and more now uh, with the coronavirus crisis. Uh, we can't cross uh, the borders so easily. Uh, so uh, many, uh, uh, many monuments with Latin inscriptions are on the northern uh, part of the island, so we, we, cannot, uh, we don't have the possibility to visit them uh, for uh, the research. Uh, but uh, still, uh, we are trying to, uh, uh, to pass all these uh, 
uh, political context. A political context and uh, any other. Uh, Any other problem we have, uh, because we have to, uh, we must have access uh, to uh, make our research into the museums, etc. Uh, but uh, I still, I, be, I believe that uh, we are doing a very great job, and uh, the project uh, will be fine. What is your objective, in your own objective, in this project, Graphics? Yes. Uh, well, uh, the project uh, is very useful for me because, uh, as you can see here, the, um, uh, the majority of the tombstones uh, have uh, inscriptions. Many tombstones have only inscriptions, other tombstones uh, have the uh, human representations uh, which, is, uh, which surround it. Uh, 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 there are inscriptions uh, around this human representation, uh, we can uh, understand better uh, the funerary sculpture and uh, what it represents through the inscriptions, uh, because uh, the inscriptions uh, give us uh, many information about uh, the social role of these uh, deceased persons uh, or their role during their life in the Lusinian Kingdom. We have titles, we have names, we have family names, uh, we have uh, uh, we can ex uh, extract uh, results for their um, uh, their attachment to particular religious uh, um, foundations, or we can uh, take information about uh, marital alliances between these uh, persons. Uh, all these we can uh, uh, we can uh, search in these matters through the inscriptions and. Uh, you can understand very well that uh, it is very useful for me and uh, I, can, I believe that I can help the project uh, with my uh, knowledge about the Cypriot society, etc. Nice. If you haven't been a, re a researcher, what other job will, will, will you, will you, have you done? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I choose to... Uh, uh, to uh, work on these uh, matters, uh, to uh, uh, focus on uh, history and uh, matters concerning the art and uh, uh, the concern, uh, particularly uh, funerary art. Uh, well, this is what interests me, this is what I am doing. Uh, I'm doing. Uh, I don't know what else. I, uh, I love it. <laughs> so. If uh, there is a miracle, which character from the medieval time would you like to, to talk to? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I could say uh, Charlemagne. Why not? Uh, it's an interesting person, a very uh, specific person. Uh, he changed uh, the old medieval uh, world. Um, it's a great figure. So, if you talk with him, what, what kind of question will you ask to him? Could I be uh, uh, in your coronation, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> because it is a, a very unique uh, fact uh, in the medieval uh, years. Uh, as I said, it changed the medieval world. Uh, this could be a question <laughs> in this very moment. Uh, any advice for a young uh, boy or girl who would like to, to go on research? Well, yes, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, to do whatever you liked, uh, whatever uh, interests you, uh, you must do it. Uh, because uh, if you have a job that is not that you are not pleased with, uh, it will be a problem to all of your life. Uh, so uh, do whatever you like, you you really love in your life. Uh, that would be an advice. But it is not so simple, you know. Something. I know, I know. But uh, if you uh, you can fight it, uh, 
uh, you can fight, fight for your dream, for uh, your life, uh, and uh, maybe you will succeed. If you don't do it, you will, uh, uh, you will die without uh, having succeeded anything in your life, I believe. Uh, a book, a movie, or a music, or something, to for people to to to, to discover a mid, mid, uh, middle age. Uh, I think that uh, every historical movie uh, has uh, a lot of errors uh, in the narrative. Uh, in the construction of uh, the plot, so uh, it would be uh, uh, I couldn't uh, give uh, such an advice uh, to any people. But if you still uh, want an answer, I would say you uh, uh, a movie that I saw uh, recently. Uh, it's The King. Uh, it's for uh, Henry V of England. Uh, uh, it's a very good movie. It has its uh, uh, wrong points, but still, it's uh, nice uh, to see it. Something to add? You uh, would like to say? Yes, uh, I would like uh, to say that uh, our program uh, is uh, a very unique, uh, very interesting. Uh, to uh, possibly uh, to new researchers. As I said, um, you have to look uh, what interests you and uh, grab it <laughs> or grab from it. Uh, that is all.